fully haven't processed the fact that I got laid off yet. What is the point? What is the purpose? There is none. Growing up, my parents always told me to like get a job. I do know what I want to do, but I'm scared. This is the most gorgeous color ever. Look how young. New era incoming. Unemployed era. To win it. If I'm not working, I get really antsy. So it's my last day of being employed. Ooh. It feels really weird. And I don't want to cry, but I'm going to start to cry right now. <laughs> um. I got notified last week that I was being laid off. Ooh. So. I feel like I've been working at this company for my entire life. It was my first internship. I freelanced with them. I got transitioned to a full-time job. It's been almost two years full-time. So in total, I've been at this company for about three years, basically. I've just been with them for so long that I can't even imagine my life without working at this company. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Um, it's my last day. But anyway, let's just get ready for the day and get situated. Um, okay. Was that working? I don't even know why I'm doing my makeup. I'm not even gonna see anyone today. I'm literally still home alone because my parents are still in Asia. Um, so what is the point? What is the purpose? There is none. But like, when is there ever a purpose? Ugh. Also, my eyebrows, as you can tell, are a little bit crazy. That's just because of the microblading. It's in the healing stage right now. So it'll just look like this for the next... I don't know. Two weeks? I'm breaking out again. Ooh. I feel like I'm always breaking out constantly. Like at this point, I don't even need to say that I'm breaking out because y'all know I'm gonna be breaking out after any type of trip these days, but whatever. Ugh. I feel like everything is just going everywhere right now. Girly just got laid off. Girly just got back from a trip. She doesn't know what she wants to do. Girly's struggling with acne. Girly is alone. Ugh. I also dropped off John at the airport yesterday, so Girly's going through it <laughs> in all areas. <laughs> He's flying across the country. I don't know when I'm going to see him again, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, so this is the vibe right now, but I'm just going to do my makeup. Even if nothing else is going right, at least I can just do my makeup, right? Something to do, at least, that I know will go right, I hope. <sighs> okay. And I feel like I fully haven't processed the fact that I got laid off yet. That's just because, like, right after I got laid off, I already had a trip planned. So, like, it hasn't hit me yet. It really hasn't hit me yet. I still have my company laptop. I still have my company iPad. I still have my badge. When I send back all of my equipment and everything, that is when I feel like it'll really hit me. So, but anyway, I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna make a matcha. I worked out this morning. I'm gonna stay on track because this isn't gonna derail my life. I hope not. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't think that I got time for shit. When no one's hitting on my line. I've been waiting for this all day. Homie said that no slide. So, so basically my company gave me a week transition. I'm allowed to transfer all my files over, close out any projects, kind of just like get everything together. This is honestly a good time to reflect and just like chill. Honestly, like this was really sudden for me and so out of my control. Basically, 
my role was being eliminated from the company. Ooh. They no longer need me. <laughs> you know, growing up, my parents always told me to like get a job, make sure to get a nine to five with insurance and benefits and all this stuff, stable income, blah, 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 blah. And so I did it. I was such a good student, did all my work, got many internships. I've always been the type of person to always, always be working. Uh, if I am not working, I get really antsy and I just don't know what I'm doing. I mean, even with the social media, like I would say this is a job or it's work, but not in the sense of like, ugh, work, I hate work. It's like work that I love doing. It was just kind of a hobby that I did outside of my nine to five. Now it's my only source of income, which is really weird to me because as I said before, I've always been the type of person to always be working like nonstop. But now I'm working for myself and I don't know how to feel about it. When I first got the news that I was being laid off, my first thought was like, okay, <laughs> I need to find another job because that's what you do. I've always been the type of person to always know what I want and what I wanna do. But for some reason right now, I have no clue. And it kind of scares me, but it's also exciting because I feel like like I can do anything I want because I have this clean slate now. Before it was kind of like I had a commitment, but now I, I, I just don't know. Like I need to figure out what I want to do. I have so many things I want to do, but there's a voice in my head telling me it's not safe, it's not stable, you shouldn't be doing this, you need to get a nine to five so you can have a stable paycheck every two weeks and insurance and benefits and 401ks and all of this stuff. So I'm kind of like in this limbo area where I don't really know or I do know what I want to do, but I'm scared. Doing content creation full time, doing that full time is really scary because you never know when it can all go away. And I think that's the scariest part. And now that I'm thinking about that, I also just realized that I had a stable job that I thought was stable, that I thought I would have forever. And I guess I really didn't know that it could all just go away in a second. It's like nothing is stable anymore. So why not, why not create something for myself that I can be proud of and be accomplished by because I'm working on something for myself. I don't know where I'm going with this i'm rambling basically i don't know what i want to do i have too many things that i want to do i'm scared of doing them i want a stable income but at the same time i don't and at the same time i do and i'm just confused because all this time while i was doing social media and i was having my nine to five court corporate job I always told myself I always told everyone around me I told my friends and family I've been saying this for many many months I don't have time to do both I am so burnt out I have so little time and now now that I don't have a commitment from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I have all the time in the world and now I'm scared now I don't want to do it I want to do social media, but it feels like such a weird thing to say out loud and it's weird to admit that like I want to do this. I feel like people are gonna hate it and I feel like people aren't gonna like me as much. Anyway, the silver lining of it all is that I get severance pay, which is amazing i'm so grateful that will give me some time to like relax a little bit and try to figure out what i want to do i don't know like maybe we'll start a job search maybe we won't maybe i'll get the cojones to do social media full time but we don't know okay like i need to chill like i haven't even had time to think and I don't know. Please bear with me while I figure out this weird transition period. But I do have so many things that I want to do. And I think I'm just scared. And that's the vibe. On a happier note, my Cezanne package just came in the mail. So let's open her. Ooh, hoo, hoo. We're gonna open up my package. We're gonna open up my package. Ah! We're gonna open up my package to distract from my depression. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, wait, it smells so good. Okay, guys, this is the first thing. <gasps> guys, this is the most gorgeous color ever. Look at this pistachio green little heel. This is adorable. This is so cute. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's move on. Josie sweater in vanilla. I have this in the blue. So I wanted to get it in like this vanilla color. Honestly, why does this look huge? I got another Josie sweater, but I got it in this pink color. Look how yummy. I got it in an extra, extra, extra large. Oh my God. Wait, this is huge. I kind of want to put this on right now. Okay. Girly. Wait, why does the extra, 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 extra large like fit me good? Wait, she's kind of, she kind of popping. She's kind of popping. She kind of, 
I feel like this color doesn't look good on me. Ooh, okay, I don't know. I might return this. Let's try the vanilla color. This is double XL. The other one's triple XL. But I feel like Loki, they fit the same, no? Oh, this one's cute. This one's cute, guys. This one's so cute. Oh. Wait, I like this. And this one's low-key bigger than the other one. Like, I'm confused because this is supposed to be a smaller size. Okay, last item. I got this, like, pantsuit thing. Like, I don't know why. I just thought it was, like, a cute vibe. Like, there's, like, little leg holes. I don't know. I think it, it's giving, like, a little Parisian vibe. But let me try it on. <laughs> Guys, wait, stop. Look at me. Why? <laughs> why do I look like this? <laughs> I look like I'm about to go to like the military or something like I actually look like I'm a flight attendant It's 1:45 I'm having a yogurt bowl for lunch. Basically, all I've been doing at work for my last day, transferring files, closing out projects, and just like making sure I have everything correct. New era incoming, unemployed era, self-employed era. I feel like for the time being, I'm gonna try to like schedule myself to work a nine to five, even though I don't have a real nine to five. I'm gonna like schedule in time for filming and editing, sending emails, replying to comments, all this stuff. And that way I'll have some sort of structure to my life. And also that'll make it feel like an actual, you know, that'll just make me feel like I'm working and not just like freely floating everywhere. Because right now it's giving like college student on summer vacation, like, there is no structure. I've just been scrolling on TikTok really bad for me. I really need to create a schedule for myself and just have some sort of like structure. Yeah, pretty much. Because look at my calendar, guys. Nothing, absolutely nothing. All my meetings, gone. It's really strange. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up my lunch and then try to like figure my life out from there. Also, this banana is really ripe, so it kind of has that like alcoholy taste. You guys know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, it's currently 7 40 p.m. I like finished doing all of my like what's it called? I finished kind of scheduling my week. That's the vibe. And so I'm gonna go get Boba with John to be to like bring some sense of normalcy into my life right now. And I'm still home alone. It's week three of being home alone. It's quiet and it's dark in this house and it's scary. Getting some boba, getting a little desserty zerty vibe. Anyway, see you at the boba shop. Wait, really? Yeah. Dude, I love my some beer. It's winning.